Well, it's been four years since the financial crash launched the U.S. into the Great Recession. And still parts of the 2010 Dodd-Frank financial reform bill have uh, yet to be put into effect. More specifically, the Volcker Rule. That rule would reorient deposit-taking banks towards safer banking practices by prohibiting them from making speculative trades with their own money. But while three financial regulatory agencies argue over the finer details of the rule, members of the Occupy the SEC group are putting their money where their mouth is, or at least where their lawsuit is in any case. They are actually suing the SEC, saying that delaying the rule is putting their money at risk. To explain the lawsuit and its chances of success, I was joined earlier by Eric Taylor. He's one of the plaintiffs in the case and also a member of Occupy the SEC. First of all, there, uh, the lawsuit was supposed to be implemented last July. Um, and recently, there has been signals coming out of the various agencies that there's quote unquote no, no end in sight. In fact, those were David Gallagher's, I mean, sorry, Daniel Gallagher's words uh, in January that the SEC had taken sort of a back seat and a secondary role in the rulemaking process and that there was no, no end in sight. So that was the initial sort of impetus, you know, we need to get involved here. Um, our concern really was that if we didn't get involved and if there, another thing that David Gallagher, I mean, Daniel Gallagher wanted to do was he wants to repropose the rule. So if the rule gets repropose and that possibly you know, gives the, uh, the banking lobby more time to rewrite the rule. Sure. I want to read part of the briefing that your group actually put together. It said that despite the fact that the bank lobby um, has convinced Congress to dilute the Volcker rule to practically nothing, quote, Occupy the SEC is a group of concerned citizens, activists, and financial uh, professionals with decades of collective experience working at many of the largest financial firms in the industry. Uh, it goes on to say that you even though it's watered down, it's okay that we want something to be instituted. Um, is this watered down version really the best that we can do? Well, it's not Glass-Steagall, you know. But um, the reason why we got involved was to make this rule the best it could possibly be. And as, uh, as Merkley put it, it's supposed to be, as Senator Merkley put it, you know, it's meant to be a firewall. And if as long as that firewall is built properly, then I think it could be very effective, yes. Okay, so what do you think of the chances of, of your winning this lawsuit really are? Well, that's complicated. I mean, I think the chances are, are pretty slim. We have a, um, the most complicated part really is the standing issue, right? Um, who are we and why, why do we care? What standing do we have? However, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to fight. We're going we're gonna to see what we can do. So, Eric, how far are you willing to take this? Well, we'll have to see, you know, there's going to have to be a discovery process and it's going to have to be, um, we'll have to see what, what comes out of that before we can really make a decision. Are you willing to take it all the way to the Supreme Court? That's a tough, we haven't, I don't think we've really even thought about that, but um, certainly a possibility. Sure. Uh, one of the problems with uh, taking it to the Supreme Court uh, potentially is that the lawyer that's actually the one who's really fighting um, against financial rules is, is uh, a Justice Scalia's son. Um, so that could pose uh, a lot of problems. Now, this Volcker rule was passed in 2010. Why do you think it hasn't been implemented yet? Well, the agencies keep complaining about not having funding, not having resources. So that plays into it. However, they kind of made their own bed, really, when they wrote a very complex rule. Um, in fact, we advocated in our letter that they should make the rule leaner and meaner. And, you know, clearly from, you know, the signals they're giving out, that's not something necessarily that they're in, in bent on doing. So, you know, even while we're having this sort of discussions about, uh, about the, um, you know, the budget, SEC is supposed to, in fact, you know, be hit by the sequester. Um, Budgets are going to get, you know, smaller and, well, you know, they're just going to, what are they going to do? Um, I think, I think, uh, I mean, to go back to, you know, answering your question, I think, I think it really boils down to the fact that they made a complex rule that they don't know how to, how to fix. And that's one of the problems they're trying to figure out is who, whose uh, money really belongs to the bank and which money actually belongs to the people. Eric Taylor, we're going to be following your case and we appreciate it if you'd uh, report back to us. Eric is a member of the Occupy the SEC group. Thank you for your time.